Hey guys, it's me and the Mark Darby. I'm out here in Medford, Oregon. Uh, I'm at the, um, I don't know what it's called, this little Medford Center place where a guy plays chess. And uh, as you can see, I am carrying a rifle like I normally do. Uh, I saw Medford PD go by behind, like maybe like five times now. And I walked straight down from uh, Where's it called? Thunderbird Sherms over in the west side of Method. So now I'm in the center of Method. Um, I remember that incident where the guy was carrying his rifle too and officers respond in a violent manner uh, because for what the report said was that Method PD reported that the man pointed the rifle at the, at the officers. I don't know what happened in that situation. I'm not gonna comment. I just want to gain the facts and evidence, evidence before I make a logical estimate or uh, more of an informed response. So, till then, you know, as best I can say, and just to prove that I'm walking down in effort still. Uh, options have not made contact, officers have not detained me, officers have not pointed their firearms at me, officers did not act in any violent manner. Uh, I got quite a bit of thumbs up and everything seems to be really good. So on that note, there's really nothing else to say. So I just came out here just to see how would the officers respond, you know, since six months ago. I last time I did this here and they're responding like they normally should I guess they they don't have to uh, make contact they just drive by simple as that's good uh, they just want to determine if you know probably just came by determine my demeanor uh, see what I'm doing you know two strokes I think it's a two stroke Anyways, uh, so I have to say, everything seems to be good. Uh, I'm very pleased how the officers did not detain me. I'm, I'm very pleased that they uh, had not made an issue about uh, me carrying my rifle now and still. So on that note, good job. Um, I'm just going to go around, walk around, see how things turn out. And I already had one flower out. I don't know if you can see, let me see if I can pull one out. Oh, let's see, this one. So, I'm handing out these still. Uh, Oregon Firearm Federation. Uh, I'm still promoting them and their organization. Kevin is a really good guy. I really hope that you guys look, um, look them up and join him on Facebook. He is very informative about the laws and our legislator here in Oregon. He keeps us well informed and prepared for, you know, what do you call it? Verbal battles or something? You know, contact our legislators, you know, representatives, uh, senators in Oregon. Uh, mine is Alan Bates, and he won't listen. He doesn't care. He thinks that our right to prepare arms should be infringed. He does not follow the Constitution, so he doesn't even follow the rule of law to begin with, so there's really no point in conversing with Alan Bates. So right now I am going to be putting my vote for uh, daughter, Dave Daughter, I think his name is. I, am, I, I, I forgot. Seemed like a good guy. Maybe not the perfect type of person. Um, not the maybe not the perfect ideal for liberty. Uh, but but uh, seemed like a very reasonable good guy. He does follow the rule of law. He does follow what the Constitution dictates what the House representatives and the senators are obligated to do and obligated to follow. So let's, let's see how let's see how that turns out. I think if he wins it would be a it would be still kind of a stalemate for our gun rights because we are technically at 50-50 right now in the moment. And we want to at least try to keep it that way now and at least try to defend our rights. So I have no issue. Oh and a side note, if you guys are interested in knife carry, you are allowed uh, to not carry your knives around as long as they are openly displayed. Uh, 
as long as they are not concealed. It doesn't matter if you got a concealed handgun license. Concealed handgun license under order by statute covers only handguns. Uh, there are some other exemptions such as you can bring your knife in as long as it's openly displayed on your person into a capital and public building as long as you have a CHL. And now there's another scenario where you need to be informed is that cities and counties and municipal can uh, pass laws to ban the carry of a knife. I have not seen any Oregon uh, courts yet about uh, knife carry. It's, it's not very popular as firearm carry. So, uh, just as so, so I know, Medford doesn't. No way. Medford does not have any uh, laws against carrying knives. <laughs> so, you, you shouldn't have a problem. I carry my knife everywhere here in the Medford area. Uh, but I highly encourage you to look up your city laws and your county laws and keep well informed about the state laws and oh, there's nothing to be there, I think. And so everything's turned out pretty good. That's it. And I'm gonna enjoy it today. I wanna walk around a little bit just carry some weight and uh, get energized, you know, kinda of like that. I'm acting goof because he's kind of watching me right now, so I'm going to have to act a little goofy and everything. So, anyways, thank you guys for um, still subscribing to my channel. I'll see what I can do about going elsewhere uh, besides Medford. I really should be maybe focus into Grass Pass. Gosh, there's a girl that pointed at me with her Mustang or something like that. Um, We'll see how it turns out today. Anyways, 